Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Directus on COS OS. This makes it to where you can store all your data in Directus, and it's a headless uh, content management system. And then you can use an API to hook into the data and get it out of there. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So we're going to start on the Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description to get to this. And I'm going to go to how to install Directus on Casa OS. And then Docker Compose. And then we're going to start with version 3 of Docker Compose. And then we're going to add some services. First service is called Directus. And then the image is coming from Docker Hub, and you know that because there's no URL in the beginning of this, so it's defaulting to Docker Hub. It's getting the latest tag. And then we're gonna set a container name of Directus. And then we'll set some ports. So 8055 uh, is on the host side, and 8055 is on the container side. If this does have a port conflict, you can change this port to something else. So now the volumes are set. So I will set uh, data, app data, directus data. And this is on the host side. And data, app data, directus uploads. And this is on the host side. And then directus da da database. This is on the container side. Directus uploads is on the container side. You can't change the container's path. You can change the host path though. So now I'm gonna set some environment variables. So a replace with a random value, I, I would recommend replacing this key and the secret key. And you can change the admin email that you log in with. And you can change the admin password that you log in with. We're going to be starting with SQLite 3. And then we're gonna uh, set the path to SQLite is directus database and data.db. And then we're going to turn on WebSockets to, uh, to true. So once we do this, um, we should have a Directus uh, app up with using SQLite 3. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over to my Casa OS and get this installed. So I'm on my Casa OS now. And I'm going to go to App Store, custom install. And then I'm going to go, I got an import right here. And then I'm going to paste what I copied over in uh, the Big Bear Videos assets. And then um, once this is done, I will just say submit and OK. And then now it's it's uh, filled in the fields with the Docker Compose. So I'm going to name this Directus. And then I'm going to get an icon URL. So I'm going to go over to Big Bear Video Assets. I'm going to go backwards. I'm gonna go to direct this icon right here, and then I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go back over to my Casa OS, and I'm going to paste it in, and now we'll have a nice little icon on it. So now I'm gonna set up the web UI. So I'm going to do 8055, because that's what it's listening on. And then this is correct, correct. And then, uh. I would change the key and secret key to something else, a random, like a UID4 or something like that. And um, you can change the admin email because right now it's admin at example.com. And then admin password is password. This is what we will use to sign into the UI. And then it's going to set a DB file name. So this is going to be in the um, uh, uh, the directus database. And then this is a SQLite file. So now I'm going to go ahead and install down here. We can continue in background. And what this is doing is it's uh, downloading off Docker Hub. It's downloading the image. And, and then after this is downloaded and starting up with Docker Compose, it's going to also check for a new uh, uh, image. So now it's installed, it's running. So I will get to uh, looking at it and looking at the options and then getting the set UI set up. So now I'm going to go over the options. So uh, you can click these vertical dots right here 
And then you can open it. You can store some tips in there. So we can store test and then it'll reload the Docker container. And then you can go back in the tips and it's persisted. So now we can go in the settings. You can see the settings right here. You can change things like environment variables and then you can press save button. You can also get to the terminal and logs right here and you can see what's in the actual Docker container. So you can go into database or where the SQLite is stored and you can see that it did create the data.db right here. You can go in here and you can see logs and you can see it's up and running and it's listening on AD55. So you can also um, check for updates for the current tag it's on and then uninstall, restart, and then power off and on. So now I'm gonna show you where the files are located uh, that, that, that you created. Uh, you went in here and you have a volume right here and a volume right here with your binds and it's binding to the container right here. So I'm gonna go into files. It's really easy to see files inside of COS OS cause it's got this nice app right here. And then you're gonna go into app data right here and then direct us and then database and then you can see the db right here and then now you can go backwards and you can eventually see your uploads right here so that's how to get to the files that are uploaded in directus so now let's set up the ui so uh, i'm going to go into open directus right here and here you go you, you have the sign in so you'll sign in with the environment variables that we're over here. I'm gonna go backwards and I'm gonna go to environment variables and then you'll sign in with the admin email and the admin password, which is admin at example.com and then password. This will be different for you hopefully. And then I'm gonna go back over there. I'm gonna go open again. I'm gonna sign in. So I'm gonna do example and then password. And then night, here you go. Uh, you're on your content and then you can create a collection so you can go in here and just create a collection and then um, save and then now you can create a field so you can just do an input and you can do a username field and then you can save and you can do a let's see um, let's just do an input and then a password and then you can see that uh string and you can say it's required and you can save and then now you can go backwards you can go to the here you can create an item so you can say this is um bear and then you can say password okay now you can go up here to save and it's now saved, so you can access this in the API because this is a headless CMS. So a uh, content management system. Okay, now you can go into settings and go to pro project settings. You can put your project URL in there, project descriptor, your branding, the modules, security, and then the mapping for Mapbox and base maps, and then the image editor. You can see the data models that you've created and that it's created. And then you can see roles and permissions. You can see presets and bookmarks, custom translations. You can create a webhook and then flows. And then you can report a bug on GitHub. You can request a feature. And then now this version is 10.6.1. You could have a newer version. So that's how to get Directus set up. So I just went over step by step on how to get Directus running on Casa OS. Uh, this one was with SQLite. So I did it as fast as possible on getting it running up and running. So you can use other databases and I'll be creating videos in the future for those like MySQL, Postgres, Redis for caching. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.